Welcome to the instructional video series from CSIS. Today we'll be looking at captured triggered events. That is events that are triggered by motions within a box, as you can see here with the car passing through. Okay, so what we need to do is go to the setup menu and we want to go to the event control area and the event overview. In this area here, there is a, a section called Image Analysis Events, and you can see there are some already set up. We want to create a new one, so go to Edit, and we're going to scroll all the way down, and you can see there are some events already listed. We want to create our own, so what we're going to do is go to Add New Profile, the page will be reloaded, and we scroll back down, we can see that we have IMA4. You can give this any name you want, I'll call this TD for Traffic Data, and we click set and it will now set that new profile up for us. Okay, so if we scroll back down, we can see that our profile's now been set up. There's a, a default box that's been created for us. This is effectively the size of the whole screen um, and also the camera number. Um, we want to set up our own customized box, so we're going to delete those figures and we just drag this uh, dialog box to, to the left hand side here. And we're going to um, hold the shift key down and point to our first position of the rectangle. You'll see there's a little yellow mark there. Release the shift key and point and click on the second. So now you've got a nice yellow rectangle. Drag the dialog box back in. If we're happy with the size and position of it, we can click add rectangle and those figures will be put into that box for us automatically. Now, what you must remember is again to go and click on set. So click set. You'll see the yellow box will probably disappear. There we go. And if we want to see that again, we can scroll back down and we can see our figures are, are put in here. If we click on highlight area, that shows us where our, our box is. And there is a way we can have this displayed on the screen, but by default, it's not displayed. And always remember to uh, click the set button to make sure you save your changes. So there's uh, another couple of areas we need to look at. We have the event sensor type here. Uh, make sure we've got the MX activity sensor selected. Uh, if we just scroll up here a little way, we can see there's a direction indicator. This uh, indicates uh, on the screen the top left hand side once you click set. Um, so when a sensor is uh, triggered, it will uh, indicate which uh, direction the, the, the motion was in. Okay. Uh, also, um, we can highlight the box, the sensor area. Um, as I said before, it was switched off by default, but we can switch that back on so we can indicate that. Uh, and we can highlight the box uh, just by clicking the button if we don't have that displayed. Okay, so the last area in this section to, to look at is um, the actual direction of the um, motion or the trigger. So we can say that if, we're, if we've got movement from right to left, um, we can click the, the left uh, button, make sure that's checked, or the right, um, as we saw, with this, we had them all checked. So if uh, an object or a person moves into uh, the, the box from any of the four sides, uh, then a trigger will be activated. Okay, so we set that. Let's go back to uh, our setup overview. And we want to now go to our recording settings. So the first thing we need to do here is to make sure that the arming is enabled. That's at the top here. Um, and then we want to find the start recording section. Now in there will be a list of all our um, triggers, so we can scroll down and find our trigger that we've set up, and there's TD there. Um, or if we've got more than one, what we can do is either simply select them all, or we can select all from the top of the menu there. Okay. Um, we then to look to set our frame rate. Now you can see we can set our frame rate anything from 25 frames per second um, downwards, uh, but max frame per second is fine. And then we've got a pre-trigger, which is set to four, so that will record four seconds before. And then we've got the amount of time we're recording on the trigger, in this case, is six seconds. Okay, so again, click set. And we're going to head back to the uh, setup overview. And the last thing we need to do now is just uh, make sure that we've got the arming enabled here so that we, uh, we will be recording any events that we see. And that's it, capturing events. Here's a, an example. So as the, the car passes into the box, you'll see the left indicator uh, turns red to indicate it. And that's it in a nutshell.